are these people? This is at, at Thursday's Rutgers Board of Governors meeting. Rutgers students outlined the hypocrisy of the administration cherishing the community as it sits atop a $2 billion endowment fund invested in Israel while leaving its own community to, to despair. As the speaker stated, dignity for yourself and nothing else. Man, this is five minutes I want everybody to see because this was fucking fire. I sent this to Tara. I sent this to a bunch of people. Like, you guys got to see this. This is wow. To build community, you'd be focusing on divestment, but you're not because you're full of fucking shit. If you cared about student safety, yeah, you would have denounced are. Israel's genocide of Palestinians. The Center for Islamic Life, um, Rutgers University, the Silru, that attack, that hate crime, never would have happened if you hadn't emboldened Zionists by not speaking out against genocide and calling it for what it is. You emboldened genocide, you emboldened racists, you emboldened Zionists and you endanger students. You don't get to play uninvolved and, and dumb and useless and shocked when acts of hate, hate happens at Rutgers and then also hold all this power. If you can't do your job, step the fuck down. Board of Governors, you shouldn't be governing Any shit. Questions? The Board of Trustees <laughs> shouldn't be entrusted with shit. The President shouldn't be presiding over shit. You shouldn't be in charge of anything. You don't deserve to hold the power that you do because you're abusing it. The position that you hold shouldn't even exist. You should be controlling the endowment. We should be. You motherfuckers in suits, you're all psychopaths, and you're actively manufacturing a shitty fucking world for us all. You laughing? You think it's funny? I don't know how you live with yourself, honestly. I see you. You hold dignity for yourself and no one else. Do you feel that? Do you? Fuck your norms. Fuck your notions of decorum with your glasses of water all sitting around the room. You didn't even hold space for us to come in. There's dignity for yourself and no one else. No dignity for Palestinians. No dignity for the students who are ignored and endangered. No dignity for faculty when you threaten them with firing, if they speak out against the obvious. There's no dignity for the homeless of New Brunswick, Newark, and Camden that Rutgers gentrifies. Rutgers is the biggest landlord in all these cities and raises the housing prices of these cities. And then all the other landlords raise their prices. And then the locals end up homeless and displaced. And then the board of governors sits in this room with your suits and your glasses of water and your dignity. Dignity for no one else. Rutgers actively displaces both the people of Palestine through our endowment and the people of New Brunswick, Newark, and Camden. And you want to talk about building community? You're full of fucking shit. Fuck your notions of respectability. You're not respectable people. I have no respect for you. Fuck your social norms. Your ideas of what is normal is what got us into this mess in the first fucking place where we're invested in genocide. You think it's normal and acceptable to be funding and profiting off of genocide. This problem was brought to you all years ago by the Endowment Justice Collective, and it was shot down. And now here we are, and it's so much worse. More are dead because you ignored it before, and you're still not acting. Every day that goes by, Israel murders more Palestinians in the most undignified of ways that I can't even describe how they're doing it because I'm going to throw the fuck up. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, or if you're actually tapped in, or if you're watching mainstream media. I don't, I don't understand what's going on through your guys' heads. Genuinely, I don't get it. You shouldn't be able to decide for the rest of us what is normal. You made us do all this work of drafting a 56-page fucking document, formally arguing that investing in human rights violations goes against university mission and policy. Why the fuck do we even have to do that? Why did we have to formally argue? Why are there no ethical standards for investment in the first place? There's only standards for divestment. You structured this so that we would have to argue with you and fight with you tooth and nail to get shit divested when we shouldn't even be invested in the first fucking place. And there's only a vague standard for investment is that the investment has to follow Rutgers' mission. So I'm going to ask you about Rutgers' mission. Is it in line with Rutgers' mission to intentionally target civilian infrastructure, to force people to eat grass, to use tents as sanitary pads, to have C-sections with no anesthesia, and no antiseptic. Love her. 
and then and then we're collaborating with Tel Aviv University for a Helix Hub in the name of progress and innovation and medicine. But how do you not see the hypocrisy in that? Are you actually hearing me, Holloway? Can you can you respond if you're hearing me? Yeah. Okay. Why do we have to convince you that this shit is unacceptable? We do all this work, all these people coming together outside and you're ignoring. This should be a task that you drop everything for. You shouldn't be focusing on anything else. All three campuses in New Brunswick, Newark and Camden voted overwhelmingly to divest. You have a moral obligation both to us, the students, and to Palestinians whose blood is on all of your hands, divest now. If you were honest about wanting to build community, you'd be focusing. Dude, just that shit gives me hope. People Ooh. like that. Ooh. Inject that shit into my veins. <clears throat> People like that give me hope. Uh. And they'll look to get her thrown out of school pretty, for that. Watch. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. They'll look to throw her out of school for that. For speaking out. For actually oh, yes. being disrespectful to, to the president of the university in a public hearing. You know what? Right to jail. Right away. As a former Rutgers student, and my wife is a former Rutgers graduate, bravo. Fucking bravo, man. Wow. Wow. Um, yep. Subsect indiemediatoday.com. Check it out. Hey, that's a stream alert for Coming tonight's to show. Substack newsletter near you. That is correct. You get some INN stuff that I share over. You get all the clips that I share out from this show each day, and I cut them up. Sometimes I even edit them down even further, like the, like the Hamilton Nolan one, down to an 11-minute clip. But there's so much more over there. I write original articles. We've got all the guest appearances, like when I was on with Beauty and the Boomer with, with Reef and Necessary Illusions podcast. Articles about tech tips. Wow, that was loud. Um, and then, so Sorry. it's been a while since I shared some other... <laughs> some other... Uh, <laughs> uh, some other articles, some other stuff across across here, but there's tons of stuff. Check out anymediatoday.com. Um, all right. Huh. Uh, and while, while you're at it, that little QR code is to hook Jesse Jet up with a new computer. We are at 50%. QR code is down in the corner by Reef right now. I'm going to put up. Here are all the people yep. that have donated. Uh, we got $10 tonight from Adam Ayers already. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Love you for donating. Uh, my channel actually has Super Chats enabled, uh, but also Cash App, Rumble, Substack. Subscribe everywhere. Support independent media. We need it more than ever. I love you all. Good night, fam. Good night, Sam. Mwah. Ciao, baby.